Hello everyone. Today we will be setting up the third party key manager Auth0 with API Manager 4.0. For this, I assume you have already downloaded the API Manager 4.0 pack and started it. And also you have created an Auth0 account. First, let's log into your Auth0 account and create an application. Go to the Applications tab and click on Create Application. I will name this WSO2 and select machine to machine application type. Here you need to select the management API and select all the permissions and then click on authorize. Next go into the APIs section, click on create API. Let's name this WSO2 resource and the identifier will be localhost 9443 and click on create. Now go to the permissions tab in this API and add this scope. Now we will go into the API manager admin portal and create the key manager. We go into the key manager tab and click on add key manager. We will name the key manager appropriately and the key manager type should be auth0. We will be using the well-known URL provided by auth0 to import the configurations. As you can see all the fields are filled automatically. Introspection endpoint will be none. We need to add a grant type of client credentials. You can add any other grant type as you require. As for the client ID and secret, this should be copied from the application you created before. And as for the audience value, this can be found in the management API. Now you can click on add. Now let's go into the API manager developer portal and create an application. As you can see, I have already published an API inside the developer portal. We go into the application step and create an application called app1. We click on save and then we will go back inside the API details page and subscribe to this application. Now let's generate the keys. As you can see, there are two key managers here. One is the resident and the other one is the Auth0 key manager we created. We also need to provide an audience to this API. Now let's click generate keys. Now the keys have been generated successfully. Now let's get an access token. Let's copy this access token and try out the API. Go to the tryout page and paste the access token here. And invoke the API. As you can see, we have successfully returned the details from the API.